Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County and Ontario Theme City. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. Welcome back to the series. This is the third last episode of Brockton County for now. We are definitely going to come back to this series in the future, but we're just taking a bit of a hiatus from it after this week. Um, focusing on Fort Prairie and something else going on. So if you missed uh, yesterday's video, yes, yesterday's video, uh, a little short video that came out on Sunday, um, please check it out. I'll probably be linked right about now, uh, up right up here. So please check it out. It's a really fun project we've got going on. And if there was no card there, then uh, I messed up the timing of the announcement. And ha ha ha, jokes on Steven. <laughs> so uh, what's on... Uh, the tap for today's episode. Well, we have a couple things I want to do before we leave off this series, and this will not be the last time we're going to be in Brockton County. After these three episodes are done, we'll definitely come back to here, uh, to the city for, you know, maybe there's like a new update or a new DLC, and we'll come to the city to test it out. And, uh, you know, once I get some more inspiration for what's going on with the series, we can come back to it. But uh, the this, this city's at 144,000 people. It's time we move on, and Fort Perry is really starting to, you know, chug along. So I really want to start diving into that full time. Um, you know, we, we're starting the downtown next week in Fort Prairie, and that's uh, that's really exciting. And I really want to get going uh, on that. Um, so without further ado, what are we doing in today's episode? Well, we're going to be building out on the east end of the city, and we're going to be building up two towns over here. Uh, thank you for the name suggestions. Uh, I believe St. Charles came from Jason, and Fraser Heights came from Code 066. Uh, so thank you very much for these suggestions. We're going to build up this town, uh, and this town's going to be a, a bit smaller because I feel like this, uh, these two towns are both going to be pretty small. We're going to try to do them both today. And we're also going to get a bit of a connection from here into here, which is going to connect us into the airport as well. Um, so we'll look at, at doing that. What else is going on this week? Well, I think on Wednesday's episode, we're going to finish off Shatner Heights and the beach area over here. Um, and maybe we'll touch on the island as well. And then uh, Friday's episode, we'll probably do Ivy Lake. Uh, I just, that's a, a random generated name. Um, so unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to name this one as a group uh, before the end of the series. But you know, if you still would like to name the lake and the town that's gonna be built up around it or the suburb, uh, let me know and I'll do it off camera. And next time we're in the city uh, after this week, it'll be there. Um, but uh, that's all the things I really want to get done before we, we leave it off. There's a lot still to do in the city. Uh, you know, there's lots of gaps over here. We started building up this area as well with uh, the bluffs, uh, which was really fun. Um, we have a big gap right here, which I was always looking to fill with something. And then we have uh, a, a, like a planned project over here. But, you know, this area specifically would be a fantastic area just to leave open in case there's a new DLC coming out or a new update. We need to play around with something like you never know what it is like we got the airports DLC last time I don't think we could really fit an airport in here But you know if there's an update like that we could use this city uh, and this area for that. It's a you know centrally located area So um, last episode uh, There was or last week. There's a lot of comments. Uh, we built up Dean flats over here So David suggested that we put a gas station right in here. So I did that with a couple of uh, warehouses beside it uh, so yeah, that's a great spot for it. I, I really like that. David has been suggesting gas stations um, that need to be... Or sorry, David has been suggesting that we, I need to do more gas stations, and I completely agree. Uh, it looks fantastic. These little pockets really kind of fill in the city. Uh, JMWZ noted that we should totally upgrade this road to a four-lane road, and I agree, but I made it a bus road because this is a bus route, and uh, I felt like that'd be uh, you know a good change of pace. Um, and it ends right there. Um, what else did we do? Uh, Mark suggested that over in Strathcona Heights, we uh, add a key wall, and I completely agree. It, doesn't that look awesome? So we added a key wall around uh, Central Park, which is like a little bit of a, you know, community waterfront park around this lake, and uh, you know, I really like that. Um, I believe there's a couple other suggestions, which I forget when I inputted, but uh, I always take note of all your comments in the comment section down below, and I you know, have a notebook that I keep track of them all and I try to put them all in. Uh, but let's, uh, without further ado, let's get into St. Charles. So my vision for St. Charles is a really small town. Uh, you know, when you're driving along country roads 
and there's just like an intersection and then then there's a town and you're like man this town's pretty small um but you know you're always kind of curious about who really lives here and that's kind of what i'm what i'm going for in today's video so what we're going to do is we're going to get a church um and we're going to place this church uh this church that we haven't used yet it's a small church um i feel like it could be uh, a good one but I was envisioning more of this one, which we've used a couple times in this series. So it'd be nice to kind of keep the theme kind of going here. So uh, let's see, I believe the orientation of the church should be this way. Nah, this, this way. I yeah, uh, this is north, this is south. I don't oh gosh I always forget the orientation of which orientation you're supposed to put churches uh, places of worship in uh, but yeah you know you often see these style of these really small churches uh, in these small towns in Ontario when you're driving along the country roads uh, so I think that is a great centerpiece for this town and I believe Jason let me know that uh, with this town um, that we were planning he said it should be a small town with uh, the purpose of uh, people employed in Rosewood Square, which is our oil refinery over here. So uh, we definitely need to get a method of them uh, kind of going from this town over into this area. So what we're going to do here is um, I've already upgraded these roads off camera to be um, zonable roads. And we're going to get just a couple of commercial shops along the side here. So St. Charles is just going to be a small town. Um, I don't think we really need anything going on over here. Uh, I don't want it to be European, so we're just going to make sure it's international. And then if we go right in here, we're going to do small business enthusiast. Uh, we're going to encourage biking. This is going to be important later on. Um, and let's go into services here. We're going to go schools out because we're not going to really have... Um, we might have one school in here. Uh, and yeah, I think that'll... That'd be good for now. Um, okay, so uh, what's going to happen with this road? Well, this road is Cherry Street. Cherry Street goes all the way to Ivy Lake and touches up the, the, the trifecta of roundabouts <laughs> over here. Uh, but I think what we should do is um, just make this a normal road for now. So I think maybe what we'll do is we'll just grab this road. We'll just pull it out a little bit farther so that I can get a road behind here. And we're gonna start building up the community a little bit. Uh, but this road um, is going to kind of go right up to the topography line here. Yeah, we're not going to really um, get uh, uh, a road up this hill. This town's gonna be kind of at the base of this hill. But I think what we can do is we can bring this town, this road to about here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition it to a uh, rural road. And we're just going to kind of kind of follow the terrain but you know not directly and this one is going to connect up if we can to this whole area here now this is gonna be a little difficult because uh, we have our uh, the major highway in between but I was hoping that it would connect up with this road but it doesn't so let's just try and connect it out of bounds here let's see what happens um, yeah, these things are for cars that spawn in uh, and immediately they, you know, they, they arrive in the city with the purpose of leaving the city. So this actually just helps uh, with traffic when you're doing 81 tiles. Um, so all these cars would have just driven through the city, but now they just, you know, leave and it helps with traffic. Uh, you know, it's very roughly made. Holy cow. Um, but yeah, we'll see if anyone actually uses this connection. I believe they should. Uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good road. And then they're, they'll come right through here and bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I do want to put on heavy traffic ban though, actually, uh, because I believe that would, where is it? Yeah. Uh, hopefully trucks won't use this, this road then. Uh, so then it will limit the amount of people that will actually, uh, kind of use this, this area. So I'm just going to roughly kind of take this out to here and we're going to bring it out into this area as well. Uh, so St. Charles, here we are. Let's get a simple road connection. Ooh, that's not roads. From here to here. 
and I guess we should go into our highways right now and grab our asymmetrical highway just like that and that works we'll go into node controller really quickly as well and we'll just uh, stretch this node so we're gonna grab this one and we're gonna get to that angle and uh, these roads don't exactly line up so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, open up the node a little bit so here we are here here we are in node controller holy cow words then we're just gonna open up this side and hopefully that will help out a little bit with uh, you know the traffic um, okay so let's get um, ooh let's actually go into districts again and in industrial specialization I want to use the farming industry because the industry buildings you can get with this are fantastic they're Kind of warehouse style uh, so let's get a couple of these in here we can even go and pick them out uh, right now if we want two ah okay, well, I was hoping that it would actually be on this road so why don't we go into zoning adjuster and we'll prioritize older roads Okay, fantastic and we can get a couple warehouses through here and um, why don't we do the same thing with this one there we go so we do have an opportunity to get some housing in here uh, but let's get uh, maybe a couple shops right through here and then this will be the kind of transition and we'll go back and grab that warehouse again okay and then what we'll do is we'll just do this uh, now where would the gas station be see <laughs> I, I gotta start thinking about this more because the gas stations are, are really uh, they, they really help kind of make uh, a city right and I think the gas station should be right here we have a bit of a crosswalk this is kind of looking like it's gonna be the end of the little town here so let's go and grab our industry road I'm gonna grab the one unit industry road we're just gonna bump it out to about there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our three Oh, no, sorry, I need to adjust the zoning again. There we go. And, oh, hello, little puppy. My dog just came and licked my knee. <laughs> so, <laughs> distracted me. My goodness. Uh, all right. So, we're just going to go back into here now, and we're going to go to 3 by... Oh, is it 3 by 2 or is it 3 by 3? I thought it was 3 by 3. Yeah, here it is. The gas station. So, we'll click that in. And I actually realized that... I can't turn zoning off this road, but I do want to uh, kind of just bring it forward a little bit. Hopefully that didn't mess up the zoning. Nice. It did not um, because over here I want to get whoops uh, some more of those uh, warehouses. So we'll do that. And then what we'll do is we'll just fill this in with concrete. And we'll clean this up momentarily because I just want to make sure we get in the right uh, buildings. And then if we go down to one and one, uh, we get this little shed thing and I think they look pretty cool. Okay, so we'll make those historical. We have our gas station here. Wait, is that the gas station? Yes, okay, it is. It's just a little slow right now. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll get uh, a parking lot behind it and we don't need much uh, just uh, something like this so I'm just gonna place it down right here and then I'm just going to use move it now we'll just place it right behind just like about there that's actually a bit too large so I think I'm gonna go down to this four yeah okay very good Make sure I'm just grabbing that. Yep. All right. Let's just center this. And we're going to leave it off the road a little bit because, uh, you know, the asset has a bunch of garbage over here. And I believe, you know, they would want some space to move their cars around or through the garage even and, you know, pick up the garbage. So we'll even back it up a bit farther. And, you know, in this case, we'll just turn it around this way then. All right, very good. And then a little trick I saw in a video 
uh, I believe it was a 5B1C video, is to just uh, grab these and they really help kind of clean up these crazy corners that you get. Um, and then over here, oh, we need water out this way. Good to know. I believe that was the water pipe. Should have looked. It was the water pipe. So I'll bring this one over and we'll bring another one down. Fantastic. And then we're going to get uh, just a little house right here. You often see that in small towns, there's uh, houses on the main roads because they uh, they didn't used to be um, uh, zoned as they currently are. Uh, so we'll do that and then let's get a normal road. Bump this one out to about here. It'll be a cul-de-sac and then what we'll do is we'll just grab a path. From there to there and it looks like we've kind of cleaned up the area a little bit as well that way. And then we'll get some more housing. Oh, we are having trouble. Oh, what's going on here? Looks like we lost some zoning on this road here. So let's uh, set no priority. Ah, okay, yeah, looks like we did lose a bunch of uh, the zoning. Probably because I was doing a bunch of stuff paused. Like even right here, it looks a little silly. So. Uh, let's leave that as a house. I think that would be cool. And then we'll get this to be some commercial zoning. And let's delete that house. And we'll get um, a couple of smaller houses over there. And then we'll get some more houses right through here. I just like, uh, I'd like to leave some space between um, these houses. I don't mind using these single space houses as well because we can even make it, uh, I don't want to mess up with the zoning too much, but we can make the lots seem a little bit larger uh, by kind of using a fence. We'll go with the farm fence and we'll turn off our zoning really quickly. And what I'll do is I'll just go from here to here and we can bring it down like that. And we'll bring it down kind of right through the middle here. Oops. And that house has a bit of a larger lot, and we'll skip uh, skip a couple. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's just, let's just do them all. There we go. So we'll see what kind of happens with that. Uh, we can always come through here with our trees and add some trees in here. Helps kind of fill in the gaps a little bit, doesn't it? Oh no, we lost the gas station. Oh no, okay, so we gotta fix that. I wonder if that was the reason. Okay, let's uh, let's just delete this and let's just touch the road really quickly. Let's see if that changed the zoning a little bit. It did. Um, so it looks like I should probably go back to the zoning adjuster and we'll prioritize older roads here. There we go. And we should be able to get that back. So let's go back to here and we'll go into commercial. We'll go three by three. We'll find the gas station. Here it is. Place it down. Okay, there we go. And then we'll get that path again. And we'll just try and use it to clean up the edges a little bit. Oops, it's gotta be the other way because of the light. Uh, the light. Okay, so hopefully that comes in okay. Looks like there's two buildings being built. There we go, so we'll make this one historical, and hopefully that is done with the zoning changes. Oh no, we said this one was going to be a house, didn't we? Alright. Uh, so let's finish up with the, the housing here. So let's make sure that they have a bit larger lots than uh, in the city. So we'll just connect them up like that. Whoa. And so I'm leaving about a two unit gap in between here. And let's bring this one out a little bit. And this one's going to be 
bit shorter actually because I would rather it not be exact yeah that works and then we can have uh, maybe a couple yeah it can come out a bit farther through here why not we'll connect up we even bring it down like that all right very nice so let's get uh, an elementary school in here uh, nothing more than that though so we'll get the elementary school um, right uh, yeah right here why not and then it can have a park right behind it so we'll just go into the park assets and we'll make this one really quick so just we'll just use the small playground here and we'll put it right behind there and then what we'll do is we'll just grab a fence uh, and we'll go with um, maybe the forestry fence because it's a bit more of a thicker wooden fence and we'll just kind of fence off the school like that yeah, that's pretty good and then we'll get a pathway beside it and um, it'll just be a dirt path why not just like that there we go and then we'll get some more houses uh, right through here but these ones are gonna be a little bit uh, bigger I guess let's uh, try to just do that to kind of make sure that this house has a nicer lot and then we'll just kind of do the same thing so we'll clean up this a little bit there we go and looks like it's going to be kind of style of this uh, this build here. This one we can zone them all. I'm just going to take zoning off of this road so that all the houses need to be zoned onto here. And that means that this will be clear. So we could even actually just kind of continue the, the theme a little bit on both sides here. I uh, will leave it on that side. All right. And then we'll get some smaller houses right through here. And same thing. Actually, let's uh, make these ones larger. Okay, there we go. And let's not get any houses in there. And here we can make a bit more of like a services area. Actually, no, no, no. Let's uh, let's just make this um, all be a part of the residential area of the city or the town. Alrighty, and then we'll get some more houses and these ones again will be larger houses because we're on the outside a bit larger plots of land uh, okay so that'll be the majority of the city of the town sorry I keep saying city it's very much not a city uh, okay we'll come down this one right through here and we should be good all right and then uh, just for the sake of time here folks I'm just gonna do that because we're gonna build out a little bit of a have a services area over here I believe um, yeah let's actually let's just get like a large park or something uh, I think that'll be nice hmm so we already have a park maybe we can go like a small playground maybe we we'll go with like a dog park over in here kind of in the hills area that'll be nice we'll help the value land value out uh, quite a bit uh, and then when we get like a baseball diamond, actually, I think, I think that'd be fun. Place it uh, right about here. Okay, let's just center it so that the parking for it is right there. And then we'll get uh, some trees and we'll just try and kind of make it seem like this is the end of the town. So when we're looking at it at a distance, we can kind of see it. Oh yeah, that's the end of the town. And why don't we get um, uh, a little pathway. We'll start with the dirt path. We'll go from here and we'll just go into the freeform. We'll kind of just go around the town a little bit. And we'll connect up right here. And that's going to be really important for something momentarily. So we'll just try and uh, you know cover this path a little bit. That's good enough um, for this area. Uh, for this side of the, the area at least, sorry. And we do have crosswalks available because on this side, oh, it looks like we're running out of power. Let's check our budget really quickly. We are at full. Um, so why don't we just do really quickly, we'll add in a power plant. We'll go over to our old power plant zone, which was over here, which I've been kind of adding to. Uh, 
off camera. Uh, so we, if you're new to the series, what we did is we uh, had our power all through here, and then we built a nuclear power plant all the way down over here. Uh, but we've since kind of been running out of power <laughs> again, so uh, I've been adding them back in to where we originally had power. So very funny, isn't it? Um, all right, so hopefully that'll carry us through the rest of the series. Um, that looks really good. Over in here, though, I want to get a train line. And uh, what we're going to do with this is we are going to build a bit of like a bump out for the train. We'll have it on. Um, we'll try to have it like straight right through here. So we'll have a bit of a spur connection into this area. And what I'll do, though, is this will be kind of like a bit of a, a bypass almost for this intersection as well. So we'll have it start right about here. And let's turn on our guidelines. So we'll bump it out to about there. And then we'll have it on an angled connection to about there. And then what we'll do is we'll just kind of clean this up a little bit. Oop, let's undo that. Uh, I think it's fine. And we'll have the train um, kind of right through here. Oh, wow. This node is a bit iffy now, isn't it? Let's square that node up a little bit. Let's pull this back. There we go. Bring this one forward. And we should probably set it up with TMPE, shouldn't we? There we go. And actually, this one we want to be able to turn Argo straight and turn at the same time. Uh, yeah, okay. So actually, I don't particularly love how that's looking. So I'm actually just going to start over. And what we'll do is we'll just use normal roads for now. And I like that connection point though, so we'll bring it out to about here. We'll bring it down like that. I'm not going to worry too much about the angles here. And then we'll have a bit of a. Let's make sure that that node went away. It did nice. A bit of like a suburb over here. Maybe this will be a bit of a newer suburb. Ah, okay. Holy cow. And we'll just have a bit of a connection point. I'm not actually going to connect on that one. I think we'll just do that. And then I'll get a, a path right there. And we'll just move the nodes if we can. So that it looks like you can, uh, you know, walk through there. And then we'll have the zoning come through here. So it looks like we uh, need to fix that a little bit. We'll have some commercial right through here. Uh, let's actually uh, do prioritize newer roads. Okay, I can't click this one because it's going to mess up this. Okay, so we can leave the commercial on that on on there, and then we'll have the residential right through here. And we're not going to worry too much about that stuff. I think that'll be good. We can even get a sneaky little path right through from here to uh, to there. All right, and we're not going to get zoning on this road. Um, actually, this road should be upgraded though. So let's grab this one, and we'll just upgrade this and this one. Okay, that works. And this way, we can actually just zone the whole thing. Won't worry too much about. All the nonsense going on. Okay, we'll take off zoning from here. We'll leave this one. We'll use the same kind of trick as we were using before. Okay, that should be good for the zoning through here. And then right through here, we'll take off that because it looks a little bit messy. I think that should work. And then right here, we're going to get the train station. So a um, bit of like a commuter kind of train station. Yeah, that, that should work. And I believe we should probably, we should probably upgrade uh, this road then. So um, let's upgrade this one right to there. Oh no, we lost. Okay, there we go. Okay, perfect. Didn't lose too, too much of it, did we? Um, there we go. Hopefully we saved that house before it got deleted. All right, so let's get a train station in here. And um, what train station should we use? Because, you know, I, I don't think any of these ones kind of really suit the, the theme. And I think the really simple, basic 
kind of train station kind of kind of works for this but it's a bit larger than i was hoping uh it would be this one again is a bit too large that one's very large um i don't think any of the train hubs really work either i was really just hoping for like a really small train station kind of vibe so we might just use this one uh because we are kind of going towards a hill so maybe could look good that way and we'll connect it up right here i do like this train station it seems a bit more of like a, a chill kind of smaller town kind of train station with a really cool architect that did it it is a really nice train station uh, but we don't need much over here at all uh, i will build a a train line right beside it for you know maybe they need to stop the train momentarily and give it a rest or maybe they need to park an engine over here or something like that um, so I will just kind of get that right there. I'm just going to move it towards the station right through here. Just a little bit like that. Just to kind of leave it as so. And we need water out over here. Of course we do. There we go. We should be good. St. Charles is coming along pretty nicely. Um, then... We'll connect, uh, we'll just go straight to about here, and then what we'll do is we'll just bring this one down to about there. And then we'll get a freeform connection up into here. We'll just connect up to the outside one. Um, there are changeover points throughout the uh, throughout the uh, the train, so I'm not too, too worried. I think that looks and works pretty good. Um, let's just grab this node. Make sure we're just grabbing that node though. And we'll say control H to that height. And um, yeah, and then we'll just pretty much, we'll level up this terrain a little bit. And then um, let's slope this from here all the way into the station. 1% gray, that's fine, that's fine. And then uh, ooh, that's not slope, that's not slope either, or, you know, terrain, <laughs> slope. Okay, let's just uh, bump this out a little bit. I think that should look a little bit nicer. And then we'll come back here with our smoothing tool and we'll just smooth it out. Yeah, let's turn up the brush size and we'll just try and smooth out this um, elevated portion. All right, that looks fine. So trains can come into here very simply and very nicely. And we'll get two train lines from here. So what we'll do is we'll go from this side. This one's going to follow the train tracks. And we'll stay on the outside here. And there's a couple of switchover points like right here. And this one's going to be an express to downtown. So I guess it would probably stay on the outside then. And we'll swing out over into here. And we'll come down and we'll follow this area we'll hop over this crazy changeover and we'll come right down through here following the train lines and here we are in Union, Union Station just like that and we'll see if we can hold shift and if we can get it to kind of go into a different stop looks like we can get right here and this one actually shares a stop line with um, another train line okay there we go and we'll get another stop from this side of the tracks this one's going to do the same thing we'll come out over here but we're, but we're gonna take this changeover point and we're going to swing all the way out probably to oh Dean Hills is really busy so maybe we can come out to the zoo oh the zoo's really busy too yeah we'll just go up to Dean Hills that's fine What? There we go. Dean Hills, and then we'll go back. All right. Don't know why they're not working. Uh, and I can't really spend more time on figuring out why it's not exactly working. So we'll just have to know that this is the point and I'll fix it off camera 
in between the two episodes, okay? Um, whoa. All right, there we go. So hopefully this will kind of all fill in over time. Let's get some trees and we'll just kind of fill up around here. And then we'll get a couple more shops uh, from this point right through there. That should be good. And um, yeah, you know, maybe this town is expanding. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of leave some options available. Maybe they started planning out uh, the future expansion of St. Charles. And uh, we'll just kind of have a bit of a road through here. Just a dirt road and yeah, you know, they started they started planning it out. I don't know if that road's gonna be, if that house is gonna get built or not, but we'll see. Um, okay, so uh, now time for our connection point into Rosewood Hills because this town is coming along really nicely. Except why would it have a skyscraper? It makes no sense. Same with that one. Uh, so let's talk about that really quickly. So Rosewood Square is a oil industry area and you know we can probably get a couple more of these buildings through here uh, so what I'm thinking is we build a bike path connections hence why we put encourage biking and we'll have that start right here and we'll have um, we'll change these roads to bike roads oh I probably should have done that first shouldn't have I yeah probably I'm a little worried that we're gonna mess up all the zoning now That's good. Looks like we didn't mess up the zoning too, too badly. Yeah, it looks like we it got messed up over here. Um, let's um, prioritize older roads. There we go. We almost lost the gas station again. So I think maybe if we just... Oh, hey. What's going on? <laughs> craziness is happening right now let's clean this up there we go and why don't we get uh, you know what that's fine that's fine and I know I, I deleted a fence but that's it's all good uh, okay so now we have a uh, a path for this series that we've been using it is the pedestrian path and bicycle lane it's this one yeah so it's a shared path so from here, uh, we'll just kind of follow the road a little bit. And I suppose it's a secure area, right? So we're probably going to want to curve into here. Yeah, and then we'll probably swing out over on this side. Okay, so let's bring it right to about here. And then what we'll do is we'll go into elevated mode and we'll just bump it up over the highway here. And then we'll curve into here. Why not? Why not? And we'll upgrade this road or something. Just like that. Is that clean enough? Not really. Uh, so let's grab this node and we'll just bump this up a little bit and we'll elevate this portion and this portion okay and then we'll just do a bit of a slope from here to here very nice and that's fine okay so let's go to our bicycle roads and let's grab the road with median. This is the one that comes with the vanilla game, so we'll use this one. And we'll go ground level here. Let's turn off collision. Let's turn collision back on. And then I'll just try and grab these trees and just move them out of the way. All right. Collision is back on, that's good. And then we'll just come right through here with our bike network. And I guess, hmm, I would not, I don't want them to go from, from this side 
over the roundabout. I want to kind of try and sneak it through now. So I think from this intersection point, we can go back to uh, our ped bike connection thing. And what we'll do is we'll go from an elevated position right here. And we'll swing it out and we'll start raising it up a little bit. Just like that. And we'll raise it up a little bit more. And we'll swing out. Oh, this is the airport. Okay, so we've got to be a little bit more careful. And this is going to be crazy, isn't it? Alright, so why don't we... Um, looks like we, can, we should probably just delete these. We'll come along the side here. And what we'll do is maybe we can make it a tunnel or a bridge. I don't know if it'll tunnel. So why don't we... We've been already kind of elevating it. Okay, let's uh, just, just uh, raise it up a little bit more. This would be quite the infrastructure project, wouldn't it? Turn off our guidelines. Yeah, I don't know if this is this is not realistic at all. So let's uh, let's back this bike path up. I mean, you know, we got the main point done, but this is just kind of like a continuation, right? So we'll go down to ground level here. Uh, ground level. There we go. And then from this corner here. We'll curve over here by the garbages. This would be quite the smelly bike ride, wouldn't it? And we'll come through here. And then we'll go into tunnel mode, which I believe we can do. Because this is modeled after the basic path. Yeah. And we'll swing out over into here. Like so. And we'll come back to ground level. There we go. So let's just clean up the entrances. Or the tunnel entrances, I guess. Oh, looks like we need to go back underground. And this one is going to be lowered. Like that. We won't worry about what it looks like, to be honest. And then over here, we just need to lower this one into the ground. That looks fine. And then we'll continue this at ground level. And this one's going to swing all the way out into here where they can connect with our trams. There we go. So we'll try to use the same like right of way as the highway here. And then we'll curve right into here where people can uh, cross here and then they can join the tram networks they can go to a festival but uh, you know that pedestrian connection can really add a lot uh, to the area so what we'll do is we'll just try and clean this area up a little bit by adding in some trees to hide everything that we that we did Ooh, did not mean to put those trees in the airport area all right so that was very good very good uh, St. Charles is coming along very nicely. It looks like we have even a high rise <laughs> in St. Charles. That's not technically a high rise, but um, yes, yeah, so we got uh, a train network over here. Let's get a bus as well. Um, so the bus, we'll just do really simple kind of bus that'll go from the train station uh, into the town here. That's close enough. And then we'll bring it down through here. And I could, we could add two, you know, but. Uh, I think just one is going to be sufficient for this little town. Uh, what else does this town need? Well, I think it needs a post office as well. I kind of forgot about that. I always like to make sure that we have the post office in these towns. So it looks like we missed it, so we'll probably need to place it in an area where we've already built stuff, so why not right here? Uh, garbage, we're probably covered. 
so we're good. Uh, healthcare, we didn't get anything for healthcare out over here. Um, so why don't we get like a, like a newer health clinic that was built up later on and we'll put it right over here. Uh, fire department, there is nothing. So why don't we build um, a bit of a services road. So we'll go with the industry road right here. And then what we'll do is we'll just kind of bring it out a little bit. Oh, let's get our guidelines on. Just like that. Oh, it's off centered. That's okay. And we'll get a bit of a fire, uh, a bit of a fire department. We'll get a fire department. <laughs> um, yeah, the zoning's all funky dunky. So we'll just do that. And then, you know, why don't I just move it? Let's move it. Move it is the best mod in the world. Okay, there we go. And police station, we're probably good, but we can get one anyways. Um, we are close to the highways. So we could get like a highway patrol. Uh, or we could just get a small little police station. Why not? That works. And then, since we were talking about garbage just earlier, why don't we just get a bit of a garbage facility? And then we'll also just kind of look at filling up the area with a bit of a warehouse or something. And then uh, right through here, why don't we get some random houses that used to be here, like some really old houses or something like that. Uh, right along there. Okay, so St. Charles came along really nicely. Really pleased with it. Let's take a quick peek at the land values of it because I think maybe we could get another park over here. Yeah, well, let's get another park over here. Um, maybe that can go there instead of those two houses that we just placed. We could get like a small, uh, large playground. Okay, no, let's go with a small playground. Ah, uh, this probably shouldn't be a playground since it's kind of like a major highway here. So we'll put a dog park right here. And then let's get rid of that zoning and we can leave that okay so there is st charles a really small town built up at the intersection of two highways i don't see anyone really using this uh it looks like we kind of ran out of outside, outside connections or something like that so you know what that's probably a good idea uh, or a good thing sorry um and uh yeah you know the town's come along pretty nicely let's just look at filling in these gaps here with some trees just kind of rounding it out I feel like that always is beneficial. All right, so we do have a, a bit of time here, and this is where we can do Fraser Heights. So Fraser Heights is going to be a very small town, um, and what we'll do is we'll kind of use the same kind of theme. So we'll get uh, a church, and this one will go with. Uh, now, when I'm doing this, I'm just doing it for the the theme of the build um there is no and one of them said baptist church uh i'm just using the the building itself i'm not trying to you know uh, talk about the demographics of the town that we're that we've built uh okay so that works with me uh, so right at this intersection here right at the top of this switchback we'll get a church and i haven't used this church yet so i'm really tempted to use it but it is rather small uh, we have this larger one uh, which is a bit of an older church so maybe maybe this one although I do kind of think that maybe this like more 1960s 1950s kind of style might work yeah let's place this one down and we'll get a parking lot Uh, let's go with this one. That's a bit too big. Uh, let's go this side. All right. Um, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of that, to be honest. So let's go with two by eight's too big, two by four. I think this one will probably be the, the way to go. Just gonna spin it around though. There we go. So that the light is on the other side. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Oh, we need water. Of course we do. So let's grab that. We'll go from here and we'll just run the pipe relatively close to the road here and we'll connect it to St. Charles. Just right down here. All right, and don't worry, I'll fix those trains off camera. Um, all right, so let's get like a, literally just like a small corner shop right here. Uh, we could even try to pick it out. Um, let's try and find one. Let's go down to here. This one might be nice. Let's build it. Let's just fill in the area with concrete as well. Then we can get a bit of a uh, some parking right beside it as well. Just like that. So we'll wait for that to get built. And then what we'll do is we'll have just a couple of these side streets. And uh, we'll use these pathways, uh, well, there we go, uh, for this church a little bit to try, because there is, um, you know, doors on the outside and stuff like that. So I'm going to use this concrete as uh, a bit of a help here for this. These, these concrete paths, that is. All right, there we go. Yeah, it looks kind of like a, you know, a story you might see in this style of town. And why don't we get uh, just another one right here too. And we'll try to select this one as well. So we're using a two by two here. So we'll see if there's anything that kind of pokes out at us. Go with this one, little old restaurant or something like that. There we go. And then we'll grab a parking lot. Fantastic. Just fill in this little corner here. And then we'll zone in the rest with residential. Try and clean this one up a little bit better. I don't mind having houses on, on these roads. Well, let's try to make sure that there's two separate houses there. Um, okay, so let's get a bit of a, a dirt path from here right through this zoning. And we'll have another one from here to there. And this one will also swing down. This one will gonna do this there we go so let's just uh, try to raise up the land value a little bit of uh, in this area and we'll throw in a dog park and why dog parks well they're the cheapest ones and they look, kind of, they look nice I like them oh it looks like we've upgraded this one uh, so the land value in this town is gonna be uh, not very good um, but uh, that's okay it doesn't look like we have much space for anything really I don't think the land value is going to get raised up at all uh, no nope. so we'll see if anyone actually moves out here um, yeah I think parks is the only way we can really upgrade this this town uh, so I can't we don't think I don't think I can even really put in a school but maybe we can put in a library maybe that would give it enough of a boost so we could add in a library we could throw that right there um, really small town library you know Ah, and water, of course. You know, that would help as well. Getting, making sure people move out here. They have uh, city services. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So there's Fraser Heights right at the top of the switchback. 
and yeah, it looks really, looks really cute. Little small town that you see driving driving along uh, these country roads, and then we also follow down here. We go through a roundabout, and we get down to St. Charles as well. Another small little town, but this town has a biking path. Maybe we could even get a biking path uh, over here, but. I don't know. I think we're probably good. Oh, maybe we can run a bus. We can run a bus from St. Charles, uh, from Fraser Heights. Uh, we can get that bus to stop right here. And actually, no, let's get it to stop right here. And then we'll run all the way down. And we'll stop right here. And we'll come right back. A little shuttle bus to the train station. There we go. So uh, that is it today, folks. Hope you had a, a nice day. Talk to you on Wednesday's episode where we'll be building up some suburbs. And peace out.